Hey guys, welcome to another episode of NetSec Now. Today we're going to discuss a little bit about uh, a little bit more about web pen testing uh, and something that used to run rampant on the internet uh, some time ago uh, was remote and local file inclusions, otherwise known as RFIs and LFIs. Now the difference between the two is pretty obvious by the names. Remote file inclusion means that in the PHP code somewhere um, they would uh, you know put in a parameter to direct you to a page or something like that or include a page and actually they didn't sanitize the data and so um, you know you could re include a remote file which would be like a evil hacker script there to run system commands um, in their website and print the data to you um, and then there was also local file inclusion which is pretty dangerous because then of course uh, privileges um, you know with the right privileges you you should be able to you know pull down the contents of certain files on the system like the password file located in the etc directory in Linux um, so as you can see it's pretty dangerous so today what we're gonna go ahead and do is uh, fire up our DVWA that we've used in the XSS video and if you haven't seen that go ahead and check that out um, if you guys need help setting up uh, DVWA, go ahead and post in our forums at learnnetsec.com under the community tab, which is conveniently located right up here. And of course, if you hadn't signed up for an account already, go ahead and do it. It's free. Um, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and fire up my Kelly Linux box. I went ahead and logged into my DVWA uh, web pen test lab here already. Um, and today, like I said, we're going to focus on file inclusions. Now, of course, once you click on here, it kind of tells you what it's about to include a file, edit the page parameter uh, in the URL to determine which file is included. Well, again, I'm running this as root right now, as I do for most of the videos here. Um, so up here in the parameter, you can see that it's basically page equals include.php. So in the parameter, they're actually including a, a localized or stored localized page. But the problem is they don't sanitize the data after page equals so kind of like a SQL injection exploit where they don't um, sanitize the little you know quotation mark deal uh, or apostrophe at the end um, it's kind of the same idea so briefly I'll show you how this works uh, for more information whenever you're using DVWA you can always scroll down to the bottom there and view the help for this particular uh, exploiter vulnerability and of course you can go ahead and read through that now uh, including our local example you know, you can do dot dot backslash or forward slash, whatever you want to call it, dot dot again, 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 and all the way escape all the way back like a directory transversal that we showed in another video uh, back to the Etsy um, directory and the password file. Now, of course, a remote example uh, would be, you know, page equals and then a different website. So you can see here they have uh, evilsite.com forward slash evil dot php now in that php file like i said you would have some sort of you know evil commands and and uh... in php if you're not familiar with it you can actually run system commands uh... in the syntax of your you know code um, so basically if you included that and i don't have an example for that unfortunately today uh... that'll be something that's a little bit more in the advanced series because uh, you have to write the actual code now there are PHP scripts out there like uh, C99 shell and so on and so forth that uh, you know you can host on some other uh, server that you can include into this but today we're going to focus just on the local example so let's just go ahead and close this out now of course as it said here we can just change our page equals parameter and since I'm already running this as root uh, I'm just going to go ahead and type in slash etc slash password and you can see at the very top here, it lists the entire uh, password file uh, of all the users, um, their shells, and so on and so forth. Um, now, of course, you can see that this is very dangerous. We can also list in here uh, the group file, I believe. And sure enough, you can see um, the group file. Now, this is all Linux-based stuff. And if you're familiar with that, you would know what this all means. So it basically lists all the users on these systems or the groups that are in the systems. Um, but anyway, getting back to that, um, you know, you could even list, uh, let's see, var www, and let's go ahead and we'll find a file in there. And we'll just do, um, I don't know, test.html, perhaps. 
and you can go ahead and see that uh, this was just a test script that I wrote here for my uh, XML document conversion that I'm still working on. Um, so basically you can see it's pretty dangerous uh, to find that. Now of course you can just create a, a quick Google dork in URL, you know, index.php, question mark, uh, page equals, or, you know, uh, route equals, so on and so forth. And you can probably find a, a host of uh, vulnerable websites that uh, may or may not be vulnerable to it, I should say. Um, but again, you'd have to try. So of course, guys, I don't, as always, recommend, you know, you just go out into the wild and hack all these websites. Of course, we're trying to learn how to be professionals here, and this is something that you would use on your customers' uh, websites uh, if you were hired to do a web pen test on their, um, you know, site server, so on and so forth. So that pretty much sums up uh, local file inclusion. Now, again, unfortunately, right now I don't have an example for remote file inclusion. Uh, I might try to see if I can't find a C99 shell, maybe host it on the same Kali Linux box here, and uh, go ahead and show you what that looks like. Um, we might just do a separate video on RFIs or remote file inclusions. But for now, this is local file inclusions. Uh, in the next video, um, as per one of our Facebook fans, I'm going to go ahead and uh, create a video here on uploads and the, uh, the ways around that. Now, the beautiful thing about the vulnerability on the file uploads is that, uh, just as a precursor here, uh, is that you can upload a local file and trick the system into thinking it's a JPEG or, uh, you know, in some cases where there's zero security on the websites, you can actually include a PHP file. It'll tell you where it's saved to or you figure out, uh, you know, where their uploads are saved to and then you go ahead and navigate to that PHP file and now if you put a C99 shell in there, you would have full access to run system commands uh, on the actual web server. Very dangerous stuff. So we will create a video on that file upload as well. The next video I want to do is the RFI uh, to complete the file inclusion mini series here. And so we will get that out to you as soon as possible. Um, again, guys, I appreciate everybody coming to the uh, website, signing up for the free account, going into the community and posting your questions in there. And I'm doing my best to answer it and other users uh, in the community are also posting you know answers and questions on the forums as well so that's really great I really appreciate everybody's uh, donations that have come in over the last month or so uh, it's definitely helped out with you know putting back uh, some of the money back into the uh, project here paying for the hosting costs and you know my time to make the videos and stuff like that so uh, again guys everybody that's donated so far I appreciate it thank you very very much alright guys I'll see you in the next one enjoy